Hey guys, it's Phobia here. So yeah, um, I've been pretty um, aware that this game's been out for two weeks, and I tried to record uh, a bit of it originally, but I found out that my microphone wasn't working. So the the week, the Wednesday this was out, uh, I had to go to Comic Con that weekend. So I literally had to deal with Comic Con um, in London before I could actually. Um, do anything about my microphone situation. So I had to get my costumes ready, I had to go down there. I uh, really enjoyed the weekend. I came back, I had to get a new microphone, and I got the blue, um, blue snowball in black. So I'm hoping it's a good mic. Uh, I did the Halloween thing on it. it. It picks up a lot of stuff that it, I wish it didn't, but I have a sound um, cutter thing for it when it arrives, so I'm hoping that that will be able to solve that issue, but if you hear any clicking and typing, I'm sorry, but I, I can't do anything about that at the moment, but I just need to know that this thing's working and we can get on with the story, because I've been looking forward to the ending of this finally before I can get anything else done. So yeah, let's just, let's just quickly get into it then. If you remember what happened, we lost Chloe! So here's hoping. Hey guys, so, um, I'm really sorry, but, um, I completely forgot that I did actually play about, uh, half an hour's worth. Hey guys, so this is the point where I had to, uh, restart from the beginning of this chapter, just so I could show you the beginning entrance, because like I said, it kind of split when I start, when I forgot I played this part of it and then went to the gallery. So this is the part that you guys missed, which I'm obviously starting this part with, but I should have the um, warning thing at the beginning of the video to explain what happened. So if I'm not surprised by stuff, then it's because I've already played it, like I said. But I forgot I did, because <laughs> I did it before I went to Comic-Con. <clears throat> I didn't want to leave you guys out of seeing what happened. I thought it would be more, I don't know, just a bit more meaningful so you could check out what happened. Because it's really quite powerful. I think no sound freaks me the fuck out. <coughs> Let's see if I can try and remember what I did as well. <clears throat> this stupid microphone not working. Oh, there's Victoria. I don't think it mattered. I think I think she would have been there either way. What? No, you can actually detach yourself, so you have to do uh, your feet. Somebody help me! Wanna... <sighs> Finally, I'm free. Okay, so the syringe is a photo. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. <clears throat> Take the trolley over. Let's look at the damn photo. I hate looking at myself like that. You pay for this, Jefferson. Uh, I think you gotta look at it. I promise I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. There we go. Okay. There we go. This 
necessary yet. To this point, highlights your purity seeking. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. I have to basically keep skipping these, sorry. Posing. That stare there. Stay still. Jesus Christ, Jefferson, you fuck. <clears throat> oh, Max, you fucked up my shot. Oh, I'm sorry. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes. I still hate that word. So do I, it's stupid. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. Hey. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. You're such a pervert. <laughs> You're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... That Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. I care, you fuck. Though I promise, people <clears throat> will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. No, no more dose. No, 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 no. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Yeah. Stupid. Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. No, 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 no. Oh, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> and this is where the next part comes in. Max, can you hear me? Max, 
Oh God, where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? <clears throat> You've been drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No, I don't know. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, oh, then I shit. went to Jefferson for help, and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. Oh. Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. I have a plan. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How, Max? I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he toses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. <coughs> Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here. And then we can both go see her again. Okay? I'd do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Okay, so I can't remember what we did. The photos, did we use them? Oh, no, yeah. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay, so the camera. This might work. Please. I didn't get a chance to look at the camera, but okay, sure, why not? I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? <laughs> Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models, my subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. <laughs> 